using reprisal against Tinkaton EX. 820 damage, getting us our last prize. This video is sponsored by ptcglstore.com, a great place for you to buy Pokemon TCG code cards. Please remember to use my code NIGHT22 at checkout so that you can get a 5% discount. Before going to the video, please take a second to click that like button. And we're on the road to reaching 10,000 subscribers, so please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for all of your support, and I hope you enjoy the contents I put out in this channel. How are you guys doing today? In today's video, we are going to showcase the new Incineroar EX that came out of the Temporal Forces expansion set. One of my favorite Pokemon in the game, if it's not obvious enough. This Incineroar EX is a stage two Pokemon. It has 320 HP with the ability Hustle Play. Attacks used by this Pokemon cost one colorless energy less for each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. And this ability goes really well with its attack, Blaze Blast. For one fire and four colorless energy, it deals 240 damage and your opponent's active Pokemon is now burnt for a total of 260 damage. However, if your opponent flips a coin to remove that burn and they don't, of course your opponent's active Pokemon will continue to receive damage. But with the ability, if your opponent has four Pokemon on their bench, you can use this attack for a single fire energy. That's insane. So at any given point that your opponent has four Pokemon on their bench, you can attack for one fire energy. That's really cool. But what makes this deck really cool is that we got the new Relicanth with the ability Memory Dive. Now we've seen a lot of other cards that does the same thing. It pretty much lets your evolved Pokemon use any attack from its previous evolution. So now, since Incineroar EX is a stage two, it has a basic Pokemon and also stage ones. Obviously Litten is our basic, although it's just a tiny little cat a tiny little kitten however it has the attack reprisal for two fire energy this attack does 20 damage for each damage counter on this pokemon now imagine that if incineroar ex receives damage to the maximum point 310 damage before it gets knocked out you're dealing 620 damage that knocks out anything in the game but not only that Cat is stage one has this gritty claws attack for two fire energy it deals 40 damage and during your opponent's next turn if this pokemon has full hp and would be knocked out by damage from attack it actually doesn't get knocked out it just survives the attack and it has an hp remaining of 10. so you'll survive that attack and if you copy that attack with incineroar imagine that even if your opponent's pokemon can one hit knock out incineroar ex it won't it will leave Incineroar EX with just 10 HP. And now you can deal that 620 damage when you copy Litten's attack. And again, thanks to Relicanth's ability Memory Dive. That is insane. Now, not only that, you can increase Incineroar EX HP even further thanks to the new Ace Pack card, which you can only have one Ace Pack in your deck, Hero's Cape. This Pokemon tool card, when you attach it to Incineroar EX, will give it 100 extra HP. And there's no drawback to it. It's just straight up 100 extra HP. That's 420 HP to Incineroar EX. So no attack, and you can deal as much as 800 plus damage when it is down to its last HP. As a secondary attacker, we have Radiant Charizard. Late game, it basically does the same thing as Incineroar with the Excited Heart ability. This Pokemon's attack costs one colorless energy less for each prize card your opponent has taken. A little bit different in its effect because it has something to do with your opponent's prize card, but Combustion Blast deals 250 damage. Late game, you can use it for a single fire energy if your opponent has taken four prize cards already. So this in combination with Incineroar is actually really great. Now I've added an extra Clef key here just so we can deal with the Law Zone Engine, Law Zone Box, whatever. Because this Klefki has the ability Mischievous Lock. As long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, basic Pokemon in play, both yours and your opponents have no abilities except for Mischievous Lock. So just don't put this in play in junction with Relicant because that will turn off this ability if this is in the active spot, but it won't really matter. 
because it's only if this is in the active spot. So when you're attacking with Incineroar, this will actually not take into effect. But this will help slow down your opponent until you are able to set up your Incineroar EX. So there's that. However, for our draw engine, I have Pidgeot EX with a quick search ability. You've already seen how good this ability is. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a card, any card. Put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck, but you can't use more than one quick search per turn. So this one, it is a stage two. However, in combination with Incineroar EX, you can just find whatever card you need so that you can set it up. And then we can actually use our Technical Machine Evolution card. This tool card allows you to use the attack Evolution. You can choose up to two of your bench Pokemon, and for each of those Pokemon, search your deck for a card that evolves from that Pokemon, and then you just evolve it. So with that, you can actually evolve your Littens into your Toracats on your first turn, going second even, and into Pidgeotto. So if you're not able to find your rare candies just in case, you can just use that and just slowly evolve your Pokemon until they are fully evolved. Now, with the Temporal Forces expansion set, we also got the new Buddy Buddy Poffin. I think this is actually an upgrade to Battle VIP Pass. Uh, it doesn't, Battle VIP Pass can just get whatever basic Pokemon from your deck, that's that, but you can only use that one on your first turn. However, Buddy Buddy Poffin is so great for any stage two builds because any stage two builds has basic Pokemon that has 70 HP or less. So with this, you can search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon with 70 HP or less, and then put them straight to your bench. So this is really great for setup. You can set up your Littens and also your Pidgeys. And speaking of Pidgey, you can also use Call for Family to search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon to put on your bench. So you have a lot of options to set up your basic Pokemon on your bench. I also have Earthen Vessel. You can use this card only if you discard one card from your hand and then you search your deck for up to two basic energy cards. You will need this so that you can search out your basic fire energies from your deck because we only have seven in this deck. So you'll need that. And then also we have one copy of Magma Basin Stadium. This will help you to accelerate one fire energy from your discard pile to one of your benched fire Pokemon and then you put two damage counters on that Pokemon. Not only does this help a little bit to increase the damage of Litten's Reprisal attack, that two damage counter will turn into 40 damage when you attack with Reprisal. So uh, that will energize your Incineroar EX as well as potentially add extra damage output. And we have boss orders and Aerie is so great. This. This card is so awesome. I, I feel like this is gonna see a lot of play in a lot of decks. It's just a really great disruption card. Your opponent reveals their hand and you discard up to two item cards you find there. And it's great disruption. If you're going against stage two Pokemon builds, you can disrupt their hand and take away their rare candy. However, they if they use this against you, then <laughs> you're pretty much done for. However, uh, this is really great for uh, disrupting your opponent's uh, hand. Then we also have a copy of Mela here. This is really great. You can use this card only if any of your Pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn. And then you can attach a basic fire energy. Of course, you have to have a basic fire energy in your discard pile to use this too. You can accelerate one fire energy from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. And then if you do, you draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. This is actually a really great draw engine as well as an energy accelerator to your Incineroar. Again, this will help out because we only have seven fire energies in this deck. And just as a switching option, Jet Energy is really great. When you attach this to a Pokemon, it provides one colorless energy. And then when you attach it to one of your bench Pokemon, you will have to switch that Pokemon into your active spot. So this is a great switching option. And finally, we have Mist Energy, another new card that came out of Temporal Forces. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides one colorless energy. However, it gives you protection, prevents all effects of attacks used by your opponent's Pokemon done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. This is really great against Roaring Moon EX that can deal instant knockouts. Any effects like poison or anything like that, those will not take effect 
on your Incineroar EX. So Miss Energy is just really great protection from those types of matchups. And there you have it guys, Incineroar EX is actually really awesome. I gotta admit, this deck is a pretty straightforward attacker, very explosive. So you might lose to a lot of decks that use a lot of shenanigans in their strategy. But as it is, being one of my favorite Pokemon in the game, Incineroar EX, this deck will win you a lot of games for sure. And that's pretty much it. You can find the deck list in the description below. Now enjoy the following gameplay videos showcasing Incineroar EX. Alright, on to our first match. We are going to start with a Litten in the active spot. My opponent's going first. And we are going against the Ancient Toolbox. With new cards. This is pretty exciting, guys. Finally, we're getting into some new cards with a new set, Temporal Force. And I'm excited to try out new decks and also go against new decks. It's been so boring the past few weeks and I'm excited to try out this Incineroar EX build. So I'm not familiar with a lot of the builds just yet, but we're gonna do our best. Um, we are going against single price build, so let's see how well we can go against this one. Um, do they have any Pokemon with abilities on it? All right, Fluttermane does. But that also removes abilities, right? Okay. So we'll, we'll turn off each, each other's abilities, right? <laughs> but I'm gonna go with Pidgey for now, I think. Because uh, we'll need that to search out our stuff. And I'm gonna go with the Buddy Buddy Poffin. And Hero Cape just to thin out our deck here. No, no, no. Let's go with Technical Machine Evolution. But then again, we don't have any other Pokemon to evolve. No, we do, we do. So we'll, we'll get two of these Slittens, right? And then we're gonna go Technical Machine. We might lose Litten here, but that's fine, I guess. And then I'm gonna go with Mist Energy. And then we're gonna go with Evolution, right? Let's go ahead and do these two. Alright, we got one Tora Cat and no other. That's fine. We only have one. Because we already have one Tora Cat in our hand here. And what we need to do is get our hands on a fire energy. So if my opponent can fill their bench with Pokemon, we should be able to. Attack for a single energy, but we need to draw. Mela, we can only use that if we lose a Pokemon during my opponent's turn. And if I have a fire energy on my discard pile, so it's a little awkward here because we don't have any basic energies in our discard pile. But let's see. Ancient Pokemon in the discard pile. Wow. Okay. Or two dark energies. You're gonna pass, okay. Buddy Poffin. Let's go ahead and use that. I might be able to use this to get this to. I could use Klefki to kind of slow down my opponent. If they can't use Greninja, they might not be able to discard any cards. Um, and then. I need Fire Energies to attack with Torcat, that's the thing. Let me go ahead and just uh, evolve this then. And then use Jet Energy to get Klefki into the active spot. And what I could do is actually... This doesn't really do much, does it? Alright, 10, 10 damage. 10 damage to my opponent's active Flutter main. what 
my opponent does here. Concealed cards. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing. So Flutter Main, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, your opponent's active Pokemon has no abilities. But at the same time, as long as this Pokemon is in the active spot, basic Pokemon on both. So this should cancel each other out. However, however, uh, Flutter Main was in the active first. So I guess that does turn off Klefki first. So for me, I think it's a matter of which Pokemon was in the active first and which ability came into play first. But they will retreat into their Roaring Moon. Vengeance Fletching will deal 150 damage, which is a lot. And since we don't have any fire energies in our discard pile, it's going to be difficult for us to attack. At all. Well, we got an Iono. Okay, that's good. Oh, man. <laughs> I was losing hope there for a second. Well, we got an Iono. All right. We also have Incineroar, okay, and Earthen Vessel, which could get us our energy. So what I could do is just evolve. For okay, that should be enough, right? Attacks used by this Pokemon cost for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Okay, cool. So we could actually attack for a single energy here. I'm going to go ahead and just evolve the active then. And then I will use Earthen Vessel to give up Buddy Buddy Poffin. To get two fire energies from my deck. That way I can attach it to my active Pokemon. And we should be golden here. So Blaze Blast will deal 240 damage. Dealing knockout. And again, because they have... Four Pokemon on their bench that reduce our attack by four colorless. So we're only attacking for a single fire energy. Even without this extra energy on our Incineroar EX, we will be able to attack. Let's see what attacks are available to my opponent here. Primordial, primordial Beatdown 30 times. This attack does 30 damage for each of your ancient Pokemon in play. Wow, okay. 3, 6, 9, 12. So, they'll be dealing 120 damage plus 1, I guess. Dude, this thing is an ancient. So that means this thing can deal a lot of damage. Wow. Alright, 150 damage. To our Incineroar EX. Well, it, it doesn't really matter how much damage we deal because uh, we'll, we'll be evening it out in terms of our prize exchange. But if we can get two prizes, if we can get one prize right now, we'll be ahead. So we should be okay, right? So let's go ahead and do that. I will put uh, an energy to this Tora Cat. And then maybe Eric can help us to lessen my opponent's hand. Yeah, very nice. That way, we can discard those two. And now, if they can't draw into an any more cards, we should be okay. So let's go ahead and use... A lot of attacks, because now our Relicanth's Memory Dive ability is in effect. We can use any of our attacks, and it doesn't really matter because uh, all of our attacks can be used. Although Reprisal needs another Fire Energy, so we're just going to go with Blaze Blast, dealing a knockout against their Coridon. And that's going to get us another prize. So now, with so much Ancient cards in their discard pile, this Roaring Moon can actually deal a lot of damage and knock out our Incineroar EX. Okay, cool. So they didn't get anything from Poke Gear 3.0, but they do have Professor Sada's Vitality, and they also draw three cards there, and they will be able to attack. And that should knock out our Incineroar EX because they have a lot of ancient cards in their discard pile. So they have 3, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, nine, 210 damage for nine ancient cards in the discard pile. That's going to get them two prizes. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and put our Tora Cat in the active. 210 damage. It's... It's not too bad. But the thing is... We're only taking one prize at a time. We have one Pidgey. Um, yeah, I'll just put it on my bench. That's fine. I don't think they have anything... Put two damage counters on your opponent's bench Pokemon in any way you like. I don't think they have any bench snipe attackers, so I think we should be fine. Um, but I need Incineroar, so I think I will play Ultra Ball to get rid of these two. Get Incineroar EX so that we can evolve this. And we need another fire energy if we want to deal any serious damage. Alright, Hero Escape is actually pretty good. And we can also evolve another Incineroar EX. Very nice. Magma Basin can help us to get another fire energy once we lose this one. And as of right now, oh man. Uh, we can use Blaze Blast because they have four Pokemon on their bench, which is pretty nice. And I think we should be safe. I'm going to go ahead and just put Hero Escape on my active Pokemon. And then use Magma Basin to put a Fire Energy on my second Incineroar EX. That will put two damage counters on it though. So that's that. I don't know if they have any uh, instant knockout here. So I'll go ahead and put that in my active. That way we can protect it just in case my opponent has any surprises. And we're going to use Blaze Blast, dealing 240 damage, knocking out their Roaring Moon. And that gets us another prize. Very nice. Pidgeotto. Okay, we can finally evolve one of our Pidgeys. And yeah, 240 plus burn, 260 total. Not too bad. With so much HP on our Incineroar EX though... <laughs> Is going to take our opponent at least two turns to knock it out. And what we can do is just probably retreat that. And then keep attacking with our other Incineroar EX. So we are looking good. Uh, we need to get more draw support here. So this is one way to play Incineroar. I think I'm going to go with the Bibarel next time. But Pidgeot EX is actually pretty good as well. But yeah, I'm liking this Incineroar EX. This is actually my first choice once I saw Temporal Forces. I, I just really like Incineroar as a character. So definitely a, a must. So my opponent just passes and they didn't have any way to set up another attacker maybe they don't have any uh energy so we're just gonna continue to attack knocking out their koridon and there it is there's the concession very good game all right on to our next match we're gonna start with a litten in the active spots earthen vessel is pretty good to get us started with our fire energies and looks like we are going against Tinkaton EX, if I'm guessing. Uh, pretty tough matchup. But to only have one basic Pokemon to start is not <laughs> it's really not good. Um, choice Belt. I don't think they play any V Pokemon here. So I'm going to go ahead and discard Choice Belt. And get two more Fire Energies from the, the deck. That's going to thin out our deck as well. And I'm just going to end my turn. We might be able to survive another turn with Tora Cat With a Greedy Claws attack. Dealing 40 damage and then... As long as we have full HP, we should be able to survive an attack. But we do need to get our basic Pokemon set up further here. So our opening hand is definitely not really good. Oh, there's a Nayono. Okay, that's a lifesaver. Very good. 
Very, very good. So we get six cards draw. Very nice. We got Radiant Charizard and a Litten and Buddy Buddy Poffin. Buddy Buddy Poffin. I, <laughs> I like how they named this Buddy Buddy Poffin. All right, now it's our turn. Very good. Okay. That Iono really saved us. Now we can set up a lot of our basic Pokemon here. Um... Klefki is not going to be too useful in this matchup, I don't think, because uh, a lot of their Pokemon are evolution Pokemon. So we're going to go with Pidgey for now. And then Buddy Buddy Poffin can help us to get another Litten and a Pidgey. I don't know. We already got that, right? So we're just going to get all Littens here then. All Littens. And then we can scare our opponent with Radiant Charizard. And since we don't... There's no more Averys in the format, guys, in the standard format, because it's already rotated out. We should... We're, we're going to feel safe, right? We're going to feel safe. Um, I could use Eri, but I need to set up my Pokemon even further here. So I'm going to go with Iono again. That could be helping out my opponent, but... All right, Technical Machine is really great. I'll go with that. And we're going to go with... Fire energy on this Litten. And then we're gonna go with Evolution. And I'm gonna evolve this guy and this guy. Hopefully Pidgeotto, okay. I was hoping Pidgeotto would not be prized, so we got one. And we're gonna go with this Cat so that we can survive attacks. That will end our turn and the TM Evolution will be discarded. And hopefully my opponent cannot power up or even evolve into a Tinkaton. But this new Dun Sparse is actually pretty great with a B Barrel. So they have a lot of draw options here. Double Turbo Energy to power up their uh, Tinka Tink. All they need is a rare candy. But they're gonna go for another Dun, the Dun Sparse. So this one, once during your turn, you may draw three cards if you drew any cards this way you shuffle this pokemon and everything attached onto it so there's a tinkaton ex they are able to evolve and now they're using the dun sparse's ability they draw three cards and then they shuffle the dun sparse back to the deck that is crazy and artisan is actually a great pair for this build so that they can reset up their Dunsparce every turn. That's actually really great. Really, really awesome. And then Nimona can draw three cards. Just straight up draw three cards, right? And then if they, they have that bag to recover Nimona, they can draw a lot of cards. 220 for eight cards in their hand. That's insane. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right. This is actually... Uh, this is actually pretty scary. Uh, what we need, it's price though, that's the thing. I could use Gritty Claws to survive an attack here. And then once they deal damage, we can knock it out. Once we evolve into... Uh, actually, we need to evolve into um, Incineroar EX, but what I need is Relicanth to copy its previous attack. Because even if they damage us here, we survive, they're only dealing 70 damage, and we're not going to survive an attack. Let's go ahead and use Artisan. Relicanth is right there. Okay, it's not prized. Cool. So Relicanth will be put into play. Airy could help us to reduce their bench. Or, I'm sorry, their their hand. However, however, we need to draw in two more cards. So, we're going to go with Iono. We're going to go with Iono. Hopefully, we get an Incineroar EX here. All right. Ultra Ball is pretty good. Um, let's evolve into Pidgeot EX. I think we can... Go ahead and use just Quick Search to get our Incineroar EX, right? So with that five, um, will that guarantee them 300 plus 
attack damage? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we can deal 40 damage. And then if we survive an attack, we can... If we can survive an attack, we can... One hit, knock them out. I'll go ahead and... Discard this Buddy Buddy Poppin to get fire energies. We just need to set up our other Pokemon as much as we can. Um, and then I will preserve my Hero's Cape later. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're not one hit knocking out this guy. Greedy Claws will help us survive an attack. So as long as our Incineroar EX has full HP, and I doubt they have any means to put damage counter to our Incineroar EX. Even if they muster up enough cards in their hand, they're not gonna be able to knock out our Incineroar EX. That's because we use Gritty Claws. And again, as long as we have full HP, we should be able to survive even a knockout. Yeah, Arezu is really great. Look at that. They could just grab two Dodun Spars, use their abilities. That's going to get them six cards. 130 damage to our Incineroar EX. So they're playing it safe. We're dealing 260 damage only to them. Um, if we can take out the Dunsparce, we could. If we can take out the Dunsparce, we could. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the Dunsparce. Got boss's orders, which is nice. That That's gonna prevent them from drawing three extra cards. Cause uh, the barrel is limited to only five in their hand, right? So if we can limit that, we can knock that guy out, right? 190, 190 though. Can they deal enough damage? So three for each cards. That's 150 already right there. They just need four. So they might be able to draw actually. So I will not, I mean, I could survive with Hero's Cape, right? Yeah. So now we have 290. We should be able to survive an attack. We can go ahead and put an energy to this Litten that will prepare us. And then we're going to Lace Blast this guy. Yeah, or Reprisal, doesn't matter. Gritty Claws. But we don't have full HP anymore, so... Yeah, let's just go with Blaze Blast. 240 damage, knocking out this the Dunsparce that will eliminate one of their draw engine. So now they have to recover it. Unless they have three of them. They can still set up another the Dunsparce line with the Artisan in play. So it looks like they have it. There it is. But they can't evolve it just yet, so we should be safe. And what I'm going to do is just target this the Dunsparce again. They will use the Dunsparce's ability again. What is it called? Run Away Draw. Alright, Run Away Draw. Very nice. Yeah, looks like they have a 3-3 line in this build and the Nimona. So with 10 times 3, that's 300 damage. <laughs> that's crazy. Yo, they, they're still able to deal enough damage to knock us out. No! Oh! We survived with 10. That's crazy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, man. So actually taking out this the Dunsparce did us good. And yeah, we survived the attack. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and replace their Artisan because that's a pretty dangerous, pretty dangerous uh, card to leave in play. And then what we're gonna do is discard these two. 
That way we can set up another Tora Cat. And then... Let's see. We can quick search for an Iono. Do we have any Ionos left? Perfect. Now we can uh, have them shuffle their hand. Less than 10. And that's going to make it a lot harder for them to set up uh, even further. We can even get another Incineroar in play. But I'll leave it unevolved for now. Because we can either evolve Cat or this Litten. Because the other one doesn't have any energies yet. But we can use this Magma Basin to put this fire energy on this Litten for sure. And then we can even attack with it. As long as they have four Pokemon in play, we can attack for a single energy with Incineroar EX. Alright, cool. So, what we're going to do is just use Reprisal. Dealing 820 damage. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, cool. We got two prizes. That's insane. But with just 10 HP left to our Incineroar, um, they can just use any attack with Tinkaton and they will be able to knock us out. But yeah, um, the fact that they have to keep Redrawing is pretty. It's it's uh. It's good that they have to keep redrawing because that means that will limit their attack damage output. Um. This has free retreat. That's crazy. Okay, so they can attack with this Tinka Tough even with the double turbo energy reducing its attack. They just need to deal 10 damage. But yeah, this this uh, hero's cape is pretty good. 100 plus HP. And then... It doesn't have any drawbacks. It just straight up give 100 HP to your Pokemon. That's insane. Nimona's backpack to help them recover Nimona. Draw 3. And... Get again them up to seven cards in their hand but with boss orders we could target their tinka tough and a lot of their the gun cars i don't know I, they're they're switching into radiant jirachi and they're gonna go with counter catcher to our radiant charizard and that's okay so now um that's actually good that they left this alive so now we can actually deal a one hit knockout to any of their tinkaton that they bring out so what i'm gonna do actually is uh evolve this guy no 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 let's go ahead and use rare candy right because i don't know if they have uh devolution this tora cat being left alive with the stage one could be useful so what I'm going to do is um, use Jet Energy so that we can transfer this Incineroar EX in the active spot and we're just going to target their Tinkatuff and like I said with 4 Pokemon at least that will reduce our attack cost by 4 so we should be good and we can even grab this Incineroar EX to evolve our other Tora Cat. Now we have two, three Incineroar EX in play. That is insane. And we're just going to use Blaze Blast. Knocking out Tinkatar. Yeah, this Relic Cat is actually really good in this build. Being able to use your previous attacks. Is insane. It's insane. Reprisal is so strong. As long as you can survive an attack, 320 HP is is a lot. So unless your your opponent can deal one hit knockouts, if Incineroar EX survives an attack, you can almost always guarantee that you're gonna deal a lot of damage the next turn. Morty's Conviction. You can use this card only if you discard another card from your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. All right. Well, they still can't set up 
their Tinkaton, what we could do is use Airy to uh, get rid of this rare candy, which is actually really good. So now they can't evolve into a Tinkaton, hopefully, unless they have any more. So they've used up two. They should have two more in the deck, I guess. And... Yeah, I wish I had escape rope here to push their active, but we don't. That's been rotated out, and counter catcher will be our next option. But, 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 we're already had in the prize exchange, so that really doesn't help us out. I'm gonna go ahead and just get a rare candy here. Um, I don't know why, but I, I just will, right? And then what we're going to do is put a Fire Energy and Radiant uh, radiant Charizard just in case. And then I'm going to just get rid of Mela. And I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay. I don't need that. Let's just go ahead and knock this guy out, I guess. Please blast. Yeah, Blaze Blast, 480 damage because we're hitting for weakness, and that will activate their ability in Trusted Wishes, that's fine, because we've used up our boss's orders already, so we can't really boss them anymore. And after this though, we just need one more prize. So unless they can boss and knock out this Incineroar EX, even if they get a knockout against our active, we have this guy. With the uh, <laughs> with the 410 damage, and then we can just use uh, the reprisal attack. Thanks to Relicant's Memory Dive ability, we can deal a one-hit knockout to any Pokemon they put in the active spot. That's insane! This is crazy. Incineroar EX is crazy. I love it. Uh, out of all the Pokemon that came out in the Temporal Forces, of course Incineroar EX is my favorite. So I had to do a video on this first before anything else. So if you guys are enjoying the content or if you guys are liking this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, so my opponent is... Setting up another, the Dunsparce, two of them to be exact, and I think they're just gonna end this match with a blast, dealing as much damage as they can. If they're not gonna win it, at least showcase the power of Tinkaton EX. 370 damage to our Incineroar EX, knocking it out, getting, a, getting them two prizes. However, with Incineroar EX, and the hero escape. We will just deal a knockout blow using reprisal against Tinkaton EX. 820 damage, getting us our last prize. This is insane, man. <laughs> this is crazy. Incineroar EX is the best. Good game. And that's it for the video. Thank you all so much for watching the Popsicle Night channel. And until next time, please stay safe and have a great day.